Hello, my name is Shadley and welcome back to another episode of Shadow Empire. In previous episodes we started setting up some zones to the east. Uh, we got the, well, we captured a north look, uh, I believe, in the episode before that. Um, close to the end and then of course uh, Riga we've had for a while but we hadn't made that into a new zone yet. But now we set other borders in there and all that. We don't have governors on either one of those yet. Actually, no, uh, we do have one in the southern one. Anyway, uh, we do still have a few more things in terms of combat before we're ready to go to the next round. So there's a bit of an artillery strike over here again. Might do a bit of damage on the um, trucks at least. Probably not that much on the infantry, admittedly. Or the tanks for that matter. But that's at least a few hits. And I, right, so there was enemy tanks over there. These are light tanks though, so I might move my light tanks across there. We've got infantry that has dug in very nicely in here, including some machine guns and anti-tank guns, although these are quite low-level anti-tank guns, admittedly. Still better than nothing. And we did get a lot of the replacing. I might get another set of wizards over here though, real quick. Uh, so those were fighter bombers, if I remember correctly. Yes. And they've got a fairly good range. Uh, they don't use too much fuel either, which is really nice. And uh, there's a fair bit of ammo that is spent in that one. But yeah, those will definitely do a lot of damage in there. And we can use that one. I wonder if I should actually... I should probably set up a air command in here somewhere. We could have one for, for example, the... Well, I guess one for the western front. I wonder... Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. So that would be race formation, uh, air operational headquarters. There's 15 political points, we've got plenty of those. And I guess we could assign this under the first air command. Can I? I can probably rename that, can't I? So call it Western Air Command. We'll probably do another one onto the eastern, because I have a feeling that there's a... Well, I know that for a fact that there's a lot of planes in here. The reason why I want to do this is to get a bit more bonuses for these planes. Uh, right, so I guess we'll, I'm just going to go through all these planes that we have here to assign them under the correct headquarters. So I'll be back in a moment. There we go. So now the planes on either side have been at least assigned to the correct one. Uh, right, so the Hueys... Oh, right, we do have the Wizards in here. We could try to do a bit of an airstrike with these, I guess. I guess we'll try to do a bit of an airstrike on the city... Probably sent these in as well, so that would be a decent bit of bombers. They might send... No, they didn't actually send any interceptors either. Well, I only got two hits in there, so not exactly ideal, but eh, it's better than nothing. We have the Hughes, but they don't really have the range, and we don't... Well, actually, we do have a bit of uh, airfields a bit closer now. Oh, the, well, yeah, the Hueys can easily go there. That's not a problem. A lot of the other, well, I suppose, Apaches could also head over there. The Grasshoppers can also head in there. So we can do a bit of a recon in here, at least. The Wizards already did their action today, so those won't be moving. These cannot move any further because there's not large enough airfield to go to. But I guess it's uh, better than nothing. And these are still level 1 airbases as well. To be expected. Right, but I think that is enough for this round, so let's get to the next one, finally. Oh, they're moving some of the troops away in the northwestern front. Might be panicking about some of the other fronts, or the fact that I cut off some of the... Oh, there we go, we killed 200 of the motorcycle troops. They did push us back, though. But we inflicted more casualties than they did to us, so that's good. And now into the eastern front. Got a lot of troops. Oh, they pushed our bikers back. And there's a lot of tanks coming in. They did push our bikers back even further. But the city is kind of surrounded there. Luckily, our tank reinforcements are arriving shortly. So we should be able to do a counterattack next round. Although the winter seems to be getting worse and worse there. So we'll 200 infantry lost 300 infantry. Not ideal, but I suppose it was bikers on either side. Uh, oh, there we go. Wizard 2 has now been researched. Let's actually have a look at the quality of that. Or the difference in quality. So that should be in the fighter bomber. We've got 171 hit points, 106 on the... Because there's a lot higher soft defense and soft attack. I think the heart attack is also quite a bit better. 
Man, the hit points have gone up. It doesn't use a lot of fuel, actually. That has been reduced even further as well. And the uh, attack versus low flying aircraft and higher flying aircraft is uh, also increased quite a bit. So yeah, these are quite an improvement on the planes. That is good to see. Let's have a look at the decisions. New advisor. I suppose you seem to be the best one for the job right now. Now then, zone decisions. I know that we need some... Uh, oh, okay, we've got some riots. But first of all, computing no discover and spock mania. Uh, we are going to harness that. So we'll get 50 bureaucratic points per round. Yes, sir. My goodness. Uh, bureaucratic point production is going to be massive. Riots in no Um Rising in the streets and domes. Slowly, the population is being aggressed and they are even firefights breaking out. Uh, we try to give credit to peace then. Send the troops to end the riots. I'm going to send the troops to the riots. No soldiers and no rioters. Okay. Well, fair enough, I suppose. Marauders. Okay. Uh, you'll have my full support. Failure. Danger increased 20%. New, new government over uh, Rio. Actually, we got some of those stratagems for new leaders, don't we? So might as well utilize those. We could recruit a senior. That might not be a bad one. Or scavenger. That would increase meritocracy. Oh, let's have a look at it. what do we need. Is there any demands actually for any enforcement needs to go up? Okay. Don't know if there is one that gives enforcement. To be fair, mm, not necessarily. Could recruit a civilian. I suppose that might also be quite a good option. Let's see. Is that any better? Oh wow, the suitability seventy-eight. Yeah, there we go. Let's go with that one. And then zone orders. Ah, right. Allow emergency food. Uh, we will have um, some worker salary in there. I think that'll be good enough. Deploy the decision. Tina Cumulus blackmailing us. I'm going to refuse that one. Once again. Then appoint commanders. We need to. Oh, right. It's the Actually, we could probably recruit one of those uh, military ones now. Actually, I'm going to recruit two of them. And now we should be able to appoint the commanders quite easily. Yeah, that one's pretty decent. And that one's okay. It's not the best, mind you, but it's better than nothing. And now we need to design something. Uh, we've been designing a lot of the planes recently. Um, have we done the rocket organ recently? We've got the rocket organ too. Before I actually design that, let's have a look at what exactly is the difference between the versions thus far. Rocket launcher. So this one's got the no, it's got the seven or oh, twenty-five millimeter steel plating. So it's probably the steel plating has been switched to something else. And it has medium rockets. The first one, and this has also got medium rockets. Is the damage increase at all? It is a little bit. Also, the fuel use is reduced a lot. So I suppose we could uh, make a new rocket organ design or missile launcher design. Uh, da, 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 rocket launcher. Okay, organ. We'll stick with the medium rockets, I think. Um, polymer plating. It doesn't need to have too much of a plating anyway. And the double diesel engine. So it's good. It's going to be slightly faster, most likely. But I don't think that's going to be a problem. We do need a bit more ammunition. There we go. Back over f uh, 10,000. Now, of course, since we sent in a lot of reinforcements to the northwest over here. We did actually... I think we have still down a little bit of tanks but they've also moved a lot of these troops away I think it might be time to do a bit of a test with these units how much can we deal damage okay we're taking a bit of losses okay we failed to push them back there's still 20 tanks short in here actually I'm just going to go ahead and get some replacement troops I'm just going to get two solids in there Directly, just to make sure that we have at least a little bit of stuff there. And then over here, we might be able to do a bit of an attack with the tanks and the anti tank guns and APCs and all that. Although, before we do that, let's do the range attack again. We'll be able to deal a decent bit of damage on them now. Although, that uh, artillery that they have in there does scare me a bit. They use a lot higher uh, caliber than I do. That being said, now let's try attacking them with these two. Oh wow, they're destroying a lot of our units. But also we destroyed some of the tanks. And we did push them back, so... Okay, we lost 
hundred? No, is that? Oh, yeah, that's a specialist. Okay, so we lost thirty troop carriers, which are not a troop carrier force. Does make sense. That does mean that we can now replace them with the new ones. Then, and we destroyed two hundred infantry and ten of their tanks. I mean, it's not the worst. Move the metalheads in there. We're going to keep these behind for now. We'll get some replacement troops. Here we go. We've got the artillery. I suppose the artillery could start heading down here to do counter battery fire soon enough. Move in the bit, bits of infantry over here around that we can. So that I don't know if they built a road or are these actually out of supplies now? Probably not completely out, but they might be running a bit low. We've got the airbase. The rail is not quite completed yet, but it's getting along. So that's good. Uh, we do have the air unit over here with the wizard, but it's not actually within reach of the headquarters, which is a bit of a shame, but, you know, it's a bit far away. Probably should have done, like, um, each front of, like, this has their own uh, headquarters, quite frankly, for the air unit. And then even the eastern front would then have two, I guess, but I don't know. Not necessarily need it right now. I could do another airstrike on the enemy artillery there. Or I could try to do strikes over here. I think we're going to... Try to strike on the airfield. All right, we got another set of wizards. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, we'll also send this one out. Might not have the best uh, recall. Oh, actually, no, we got pretty darn good recall in there. Oh, we just tried to attack there with the tanks, didn't we? So that makes sense. Probably should have tried to do the airstrike first, admittedly. Behind tire is twenty twenty in it. Okay, so we move our tank to this. Well, it was starting to move down south. We could capture this one. It's gonna move these along. We got our cobras. So we could do an air attack on that one. Now, before we do the air attack over there, I am gonna use my grasshoppers to do a bit of a quick air recon in there. Birds are in the sky. Whiskey tank. There we go. And now we could do the air attack. I could even use the wizards all the way from um, Spockomania. Let's see. Are these going to be able to deal some damage? Ooh, there we go. There's a little bit. At least 10 of their uh, um, tanks there. We could potentially try to attack with the light tanks, but since the light tanks aren't that great, I mean, they're okay. They're not that great in the end. I'm going to move the wizards down here. I might actually just move the headquarters uh, down to the hidden village or something to have them slightly closer. I didn't realize that they'd use GI1s in here, but I suppose it's a headquarters. It doesn't need to have anything special. And then we could use the wizards from here to do another air attack. I'm going to attack this one. Oh, they got the flak battalion in there. Okay, well, we didn't do a lot of damage on them. They've got a mine over there at least. Uh, the, well, the tank speaking still controls some of this mountain range here. I don't think it's going to be too bad. We can send in the tanks, probably. Well, okay, we can't send them along too far. These have dug in at least, so we've got a fairly good defenses in there overall. We do have our Hueys that could do a bit of an airstrike on the enemy tanks there. Don't know if we'll do a lot of damage, but at least whatever damage we can deal would be nice. Even if it's just uh, reducing the readiness, so that if they try to attack us, they'll do a bit less damage. Or will be a bit easy to push back, let's just say. Right, so that's the western front. Then into the eastern front. Oh, wow, there's a bit of logistical nightmare. Oh, they're using the road over there, aren't they? Or they're using all the capacity from there, and then they're using a bit of capacity from here as well. So first of all, I think it's time to demolish some of the infrastructure in here, just to make sure that it's not being used by accident. For things that aren't really needed. Okay, so we need to get a road in here to destroy those. I guess those can stay there, I suppose. I will probably need to build a bit of a road across the mountains, though. To have the road continue there. So how was the southern... Oh, right, this is now kind of separated, but we do have our tanks here. Let's bring these along. Uh, we can use both of these tanks to destroy the enemy. At least in... Oh, wow, okay. I guess we didn't destroy them. Right, in that case, let's just go ahead and use these two. There we go. That's much better. There's 50 tanks that they lost and a specialist. So these... Uh, oh no, we can't actually move in there right now. The motorcycles are going to need a bit of reinforcements. I'm going to go ahead and get the reinforcements uh, set up. So another dragon. And then 300 bikers. 
Actually, that's the thing. What weapon does our biker units have? They don't have lasers, do they? No, they've got cast out carbines, so we could get some laser weapons on them, hopefully. That might make them a bit more effective. Fighting falls. These are digging in. So we push the enemy back at least. These could potentially attack another stack of enemies as well, if need be. Question is, of course, which one? Honestly, probably the southern one. I mean, these, well... Oh, they got the infiltration. Is that reducing the defense? It does. In that case, it might be better to attack the northern one. Although we got more infantry coming in here. Uh, there's something in here, most likely. Get back to the mountains with that one. Right, I'm not going to use the rocket artillery right now because I know that it uses a lot of uh, ammo. What I could do, though, is have this infantry move along. There's an enemy airfield in there. And then this armor from here can move in. And clear out the enemy to the flank. At least some of it. There we go. That's 300 infantry and 20 tanks. Then the metalheads can move in. We'll use the metalheads, or, or both the metalhead units and the tanks on the other side to clear out this city. Or not. I don't know, actually. Taking a bit of losses, but we're definitely pushing them back. There we go, we did actually win that. Lost um, 20 tanks, 10 heavies, and 10 mediums, but the enemy lost a lot of infantry for that. So I guess it's fine. We're moving the infantry into the city. These can move along here as well. Those can't move in quite yet. I suppose these could also move into the city. So we pushed back the enemy quite a bit. That's quite nice. And we've got the road over here. So there's a bit of a shortcut. Uh, I think the railway and the most of the logistics is hopefully going to go through here. But some of them will probably utilize in this one as well. Uh, right, so we do have a bit more tanks in here. Let's just go ahead and cut off a little bit of the road there. So they will, like, I believe their capital is somewhere in this area. So if we just clear out a lot of this, I mean, that is, you know, that is yet another city that they've just lost. Which is, of course, nice for us. And horrendous uh, for them. Move the barriers over here, and the rocket artillery could probably move closer as well. Uh, the artillery, well, I guess I'm just going to move along the road here. Flat gun already moved along the road. Those are the barriers, yes. Uh, we do have more flat guns over here that can move along the road to get to this area. We've got the first armoured, which might be a little bit far away for some of these troops. Yeah, it's a bit too far away for those. So if we were to get a little bit closer with these. There we go, one more. Oh, actually, if we just bring it in here, alongside with the advancing units, these could... Pro yeah, that headquarters can definitely move in. Where's the 8th um, core? I mean, it's got some units down south here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it does. I'm just going to move that one southwards. Got another infantry that we're going to also move south. And that one's going to move alongside there. This is part of the 8th as well. Got some... Uh, oh, right, we've got the grasshoppers. How far can these do air recon into? Not very far. We do at least have the Hueys that could perhaps do an airstrike on something. Maybe we'll strike on that one. I don't know what exactly that is, but we'll give it a try. Oh! It was tanks. Okay, we got a pretty easy amount of hits there. Uh, so 20 kills out of the 50 that they had. So those probably won't be causing issues for a little bit. We do also have the... Oh, where do we have the wizards? We can move the wizards closer. Are these... These are still within reach of the full headquarters, so that's good. And then we do an air attack with this one. That would be a massive stack. Would that be... Hmm. Alternatively, I could try to do... Oh, can... We can do an airstrike. No, actually, we... Yeah, I'm going to do an air attack in here. There we go, that's 10 tanks. It's a bit of a far away, admittedly, but a good amount of hits, so it is weakening the enemy in here. They are having some, well, some of the units are at least having supply issues, not necessarily all of them. But there we go, we are at least uh, gaining some more ground. Don't know if there's someone in here. And I suppose the grasshoppers cannot do air recon that far. I mean, we could do air recon in here, I guess. That might give us a bit of information. Aha! Third Light Armor Brigade is here. Now that we know it's there, though, we've got the trimmer guns in here, we could just go ahead and attack it. Do it, do it now. Come on, can we destroy it? Got 20 tanks, as far as we know. Mission 
Aha, that's rendered. Take that. Not going to move in here, though, because there's no supplies in there. There we go. That's uh, one headquarter is completely destroyed. So that should mean that the troops that were part of that uh, unit are now out of, uh, well, supplies and all that. I'm going to move the bikers over here. Provide a little bit of coverage uh, for the city itself. It's going to be threatened for a while, though. But I suspect that we will be able to hold the enemy back for at least the time being, especially with the new or more tanks that we got. Let's just have, make sure that we got the replacement troops that we need. Yeah, we do need a bit more armor. So we're going to get another 20 dragons. We've got the motorcycles. We do need the 10 heavy tanks as well. Everything else needs to be in order. So we've still got 7,000 recruits. Uh, how is Riot doing in terms of the uh, workers and all that? They need a lot more workers. They are hiring some. Uh, how is um, Northlook over here doing on the other hand? It's got a fairly small amount of things actually. I'm just going to go ahead and send in at least... Oh, right, it's got no connection in there right now, and well, that might be part of the reason. Well, over here we can definitely send some more colonists as workers, so there we go, that should help with the logistic issues at least. I do wonder though, do we need... We don't actually need an airbase in here anymore, do we? I'm going to spawn that one. There's a bit of metal back and all that, but that is also reducing the amount of workers needed in Rio for the time being. We'll still have the airfield over here near the coast. And then, of course, one area of itself. We are building an air... Well, actually, we got an airfield over here already. Uh, is this level... That is level 1 airfield, and this is also level 1. How much did it get... Oh, it did capture a bit of population over here. Not too much, though, but how is the victory overview looking like right now? With Oh, we almost caught up with Athena and Commune. Interesting. I mean, yeah, the amount of planet that we control is almost the same. Like, there's a half a percent difference. Uh, population, they still got about 2% more. So that gives them a bit of an advantage in there, but that's about it, really. So we could attack with these somewhere. I don't know if we should attack to the south. I mean, there's probably a bit less troops in there. We all already pushed them back once. We can destroy them more. There we go. That's another 40 tanks. Uh, unfortunately, that's the action points that we have. We could actually just go ahead and try to retreat. Well, no, actually, we can't. Okay, well, it's better than nothing. At least we pushed them back all the way there. These are going to be bad readiness, so I don't think... Well, there's one unit that is still pretty decent, and they might still push us back, but hopefully we can sort of block them in here, start weakening them, especially with a bit of the wizards all the way from here. That does remind me, though. We still had the wizards over here. We did actually move them already, so Spocker Mania, so never mind. And the Northwestern Front. Uh, what about the... Oh, they decided to push all the way through there. Don't know what that is, though. I don't like that. Okay, I think there's something over here. Which we're trying to sort of hold back, but... I don't want to move in there. And I don't have an airfield or anything like that in here. Admittedly, we could probably try to get, like, a very light helicopter unit to use for recon. But there's the salamanders. And we've got a bit better supply in here. We can do a lot more capturing of the land. And that does mean that we capture more and more of the planet, which of course uh, gets us closer to a victory. And then in the northeast, I mean, we could probably. Oh, that doesn't have too much in it. Go ahead and attack with these two, shall we? See how much we can do damage. We did pretty good recon as well. There we go, so that. We've got another 100 and push them back. Not necessarily going to push too far in here, but maybe we could do a quick little road construction. Get the road a little bit further in here, but like uh, we don't actually want to push too far in there yet towards the biggest rival that we have. We're not quite ready for that yet. But I think we are ready for this round to end though, so let's uh, get to the next one. There's a lot of troop movements on the northwestern front. Oh, there's artillery strike again. They did not deal any damage. I mean, we dug in fairly well there. Now we've got a massive amount of tanks as well. So if they do try to attack, uh, they probably will fail. They did manage to link up with their troops uh, in the northern peninsula, though, again. I mean, evidently, we didn't hold, really, the road. We just cut it off uh, momentarily. Oh, they're retreating a lot of troops from here. I mean, admittedly, we did manage some breakthrough in the north, so they probably don't want to stick here if they are going to get cut off from their capital. 
But that does give us a bit more breathing room. Oh, there's a bit of attack. Okay, so we destroyed 10 tanks, but we did lose 300 infantry. Admittedly, not really the latest infantry, at least in some cases. Oh dear, they are trying to surround us there. Whatever animals they are. Or beasts. So we killed 10 tanks, lost 300 infantry. Mm, not the best, not the worst. Aha, Spitzberg has been acquired. I guess we need a governor over there, right? We do indeed, and neither one of these is particularly good. Let's have a look at the, some of the other ones. So we could recruit another civilian. I guess those are going to be quite good for that. Oh yes, 31 suitability. Petition in uh, Spitzberg. There's some displeasure among your population. A number of prominent businessmen and family endless has the right to petition me. Allowing them to do that will very well give the impression their complaints are legitimate. So we can either let them petition me, which increases unrest, or we can intimidate to drop the petition. But it's going to be very hard difficulty, which we can't actually meet. So I'm just going to let them petition me. Unrest is going to be increasing regardless. Not going to change the priorities. So let's have a look at the situation. We've got a decent bit of troops here. We could try to break these tanks and then just push further south, try to cut off this airfield and destroy whatever troops they have in there. These tanks can now push forward again. And we got the AA guns in here still covering. We could potentially attack with the or push the infantry a little bit closer in here. So they won't be guarding the front line as much. They still have something in here on the flank. Doesn't have me slightly concerned. I don't know if we need this road anymore, actually. I'm going to remove that one. The trucks won't be going... Or the points won't be spent going in there. I could do an airstrike there. I'm just going to have a look at the situation of the front lines first. So this one's something that... Oh, they brought in infantry in here now. They got the hold the line for the fortification or the uh, approach there. Oh, they're down to artillery in here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, this is going to be an easy victory. Yeah, as I said, uh, that's 30 guns from them out of the 70 that we know that they had. Now we can push in here. Uh, we've got the infantry that can hold the flank, I guess. Or flanks. Move the AA guns a bit closer. We've got a lot of troops there. Unfortunately, our tanks do not have the action points right now to push any further. We did uh, clear out this one previous round. Ah, right, so they did do a road there. And now the question is, of course, should I go ahead and... We'll probably take these in here. I mean, the low mountains aren't necessarily the best for the tanks. What about the forest? That's probably, well, minus 50. Yeah, it's minus 50 for attack value there. We've got one of the metalhead three already in here. I suppose if we move these in and the metalheads, these two combined should be pretty effective at clearing out the enemy now. We're losing some of the old APs. No, actually, that is one of the newer one APCs. Destroyed some of the infantry, but also lost one of the APCs. So that's not exactly ideal. But I realized that with that, we are actually out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll show you the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.